Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical, and today I'm starting a new series called the Tactical Brief, okay? And what I'm gonna do as far as the Tactical Brief series, this is gonna be a playlist, and it's just gonna be some discussionals, all right? I'm gonna share some of the information that I've learned over the years through experience. The majority of my teachings and my tactical brief videos or my tactical training informational video series will be experience based rather than training based. I obviously have done a lot of training in my life and have trained with some great guys and some very skilled operators and things of that nature, people of that, that class of tier one operator. But the majority of my experience, I gather from the people that I train with what I can gather. And then from there, I develop my own methods through experience. I have had quite a bit of experience that's quite a bit different from anybody else on YouTube. Most of you guys are familiar with my experience as a private security contractor and as a kind of a gun for hire and international type uh, man of mystery. A lot of, is, a lot of people are kind of coining that term and, and a lot of people comment uh, that that I have had that you know, kind of action guy, but very different from other people that may be out there and other people that may be sharing their experiences. So what we're gonna discuss today is plate carriers, all right? Plate carriers, and again, I'm gonna share with you some information that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So stay tuned if you'd like to know the advantages and disadvantages of a plate carrier for you, because the guys that are sharing information on plate carriers out there are ex-military or military guys. And it is 100% completely different for military guys than it is for civilians. For 99% of the world, it's different. So it's gonna be different for you watching this. If you're in the military, then almost everybody in the military is required to wear a certain type of uniform, so you can't make that decision anyway, it's out of your hands, unless you're some sort of a special operations guy, and then at that point, you still are gonna be probably using the stuff that the other guys in your team are using, or that the guys in front of you are using, because that's just how it goes. Most of those guys don't really change from the norm. It takes a while to change those, those type of situation. So <clears throat> coming from a guy like me with fresh information for you civilians out there or for you guys uh, that are going to be operating in a role like I have as a as a alone in a foreign land or an insurgent type population because if you're talking about a SHTF situation in the US then you're going to be on your own. So it's a big difference. We'll talk about advan advantages and disadvantages of plate carriers today. We'll talk about who plate carriers are for, who they benefit. We'll talk about different kinds of plate carriers. And I also, the first thing that I'm going to do is unbox this new plate carrier from LA Police Gear. Go ahead and uh, the code should, they just sent me this stuff, so the code should be active. Bone Tactical, the code Bone Tactical, all right, should get you 10 or 20% off. Well, I'm going to talk to them about what percent they want to offer. Bone Tactical will be the code. If not, then check the description in the link. Okay, there's going to be a description and a link below this video to where you can get your Bone Tactical discount from LAPoliceGear.com. All right, this is a, a plate carrier from LA Police Gear. You guys can tell that I am just now opening it. The, the material's good. So far, it uh, looks like a Cordura material. I do like more of a Hypalon sometimes, like we've got on my Snake Eater tactical plate carriers, but we're talking about a, a, a plate carrier that's, you know, 10 times more expensive in, in the case of the other plate carriers I'll talk about. And we'll talk about an afford versus an affordable plate carrier. So what I am seeing is that <clears throat> it, it seems a little uh, smaller than what the military version of this is, which I like, okay, which I like. It's padded, which I like, all right? The padding doesn't seem to be too heavy duty because you do have to worry with, when you have too much padding, it hurts mobility, it hurts uh, placement, shouldering of a firearm, things of that nature. So the padding is cool. Uh, it is, maybe the shoulder pads are a little on the excessive side of padding, but because a lot of people that are gonna be buying a plate carrier like this 
aren't used to wearing a plate carrier or carrying a backpack or doing a lot of heavy stuff, heavy lifting, anything like that, wear, uh, anything digging into their shoulders, then maybe possibly if you're a civilian, you might want to look into this. Also, you need to look at the type of plates. So now let's talk about plates. I am going to weigh the plates that I have in front of me so we can talk a little bit about that because the, this plate carrier is, in my estimate, it's gonna be twice as heavy as the plate carrier that I normally wear, all right? And it, but it will offer a little bit more protection, so we'll talk about protection as well. First, we're gonna talk about the plates and the, and, the, and the plate carriers. Then we're gonna talk about advantages and disadvantages between each one of them. We're gonna talk about advantages and disadvantages of plate carrier versus no plate carrier in general for you, how it'll affect you. Okay, it's, it's very, it's interesting because I have the full, the full array here of plates in front of me. The, from the cheapest to the most expensive. Uh, I've got ceramic plates, I've got multi-strike plates, and I've got all the way down to just, which is basically an AR500 steel, uh, very heavy plate, okay. So, <clears throat> we've got NIJ level four, all right, alumina and PE material, all right. Then we've got NIJ level three, also alumina and, and PA. We've got a ceramic plate in here. It's considerably lighter. So what I'll do really quickly is talk about the plates. So you wanna, with, with plates, you wanna look at a lot of things. You wanna look at the cut of the plate, the size of the plate. All right, sizes are pretty standard something. A lot of guys, tell me when I wear my, my, this is my favorite plate carrier right here. When I wear this plate carrier, a lot of guys say, is that a, a children's plate carrier? People that don't know, I'm a very big guy. And people say, is that a, you know, well, that doesn't protect anything. That's a, it's a huge misnomer that a, that a plate carrier is like a suit of armor for a night. It doesn't really protect you from very much, hardly at all. So uh, it just, it only covers your vital organs. And they're a pretty standard size, okay? These are actually a little bit larger plates. Um, and then these are even a little bit larger. Again, this is my newest plate carrier. It's, it's a, even a little bit larger to the next level, all right? These are a little bit higher level of protection, these plates, and a little bit lighter. They're very expensive plates. They're like $1,000 uh, for, well, they were like $800, $900 a piece when I got them at a, at a, at a discount rate that they're not even available to civilians, these plates right here. So. But this is one of the better plates that a civilian can get. This is the, uh, this is the level four. So the level four plate is 6.2 pounds. Okay, the level three plate, again, this is the LA Police Gear brand Illumina and PE. It's probably what I would recommend for civilians. 5.2 pounds for the level three. I definitely recommend going for the level four. It's, it's uh, <clears throat> 6.3 pounds. So we're looking at 12 point, two of these plates from LA Police Gear, we're looking at 12.6 pounds with two of these plates that are level four protection. My two plates that are level four protection weigh in at eight pounds, okay? So these are four pounds each and these, are 6.2 pounds each. So for a couple hundred bucks or a hundred bucks, whatever their LA police gear's charging of great price, you get 6.2 pound plate. Or for 10 times the price, you can get a four pound plate with the same protection. So LA police gear does have a good thing going there. The, the thickness of my plates that I'm running versus the LA police gear, these are also padded plates and they're half the thickness, okay? so. We are gonna keep, we're gonna get into talking about all this stuff and then the worst, absolute, absolute worst plates that you can ever get are AR500 plates and they're just steel and it's, it's coated with a bed liner. And this, that plate just by itself is three pounds, this tiny little side plate. Okay, so this is a side plate. These are front and back plates, all right. You gotta look at the cut. They have one that's called a shooter's cut that has a bigger cutout right there. Um, I don't think, I think the shooter's cut's kind of a gimmick. You do want some kind of a protection on there, a coating. So if the round hits that it doesn't, 
you know, ricochet all over the place. So that's why they, that's why it's coated like this. So it's not as easy to ricochet. And that's why they have this coating and the padding, because if you're going to be getting shot, just the force and the impact of the bullet, especially if it's something like an AK uh, or a 308, even something like that with so much weight behind it and moving quickly, a 308 is just going to really put you on your butt. It's going to, it's going to, transfer a lot of force it can break ribs it can it could stop your heart okay if i'm room clearing for example with an ar-10 and i were to shoot somebody and you had your plate carrier on i could still kill you at point blank range with even one shot possibly from a from an ar-10 from a 308 to the to the chest even if you had your plate carrier on so there's a lot to consider let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages uh, of different plate carriers that we have here all right, and <clears throat> we will discuss advantages and disadvantages of a plate carrier in general. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna really quickly kind of show you some size differences here of these plate carriers. Hopefully you can see the three of these in frame here. We're gonna talk about some other goodies and accessories, but this is the, you can see the size difference on these is considerable, all right? And the weight difference as well. So this is a lot bigger. Why is size so important when it comes down to the plate carrier? Because of mobility, all right? It's, a, it's, a, it's always a range of mobili mobility pr versus protection with a plate carrier. And what most people don't understand is that the pr plate carrier is not a suit of armor. Okay, it's not protecting that much of, of what you're doing. It's not really protecting you that much at all. Your entire head, your neck, the main arteries there in your legs are femoral arteries, both sides are still super vital and exposed. The brachial arteries in your arms, the carotid artery in the neck, and then obviously your brain, okay, are completely unprotected from a plate carrier. So guys, always I get comments saying my one, my plate carrier is too small Two, that I don't, why don't I use side plates? Uh, side plates are almost gimmicky in my opinion. A lot of guys over the last five years, tier one operators that have the option to not use them, leave them behind because mobility and speed is so much more important than protection because we're really getting away from the idea that a plate carrier is gonna protect you. There's a tiny percentage of people that a plate carrier is an advantage to. Why do I wear a plate carrier and why do I wear one that's so small? I wear a plate carrier because there is some advantage to it, but also I wear a plate carrier because of gear access and that extra, extra real estate for being able to put gear. I can wear this under this shirt that I have on. This is a concealed carry shirt designed specifically to conceal items underneath it. It's available at www.bonetactical.com. But if with this shirt over this plate carrier, I can wear this plate carrier and you can't see it. All right, that's a huge deal. That's not possible with this plate carrier. So <clears throat> advantages are easy access to gear. Okay, advantages of having a plate carrier vital organ protection, but it's important to realize that your vital organs are only protected from certain angles. All right. So with these plate carriers, my vital organs are only protected if I'm fighting from here and I got to square my body, which is the opposite of everything else we train in fighting techniques in martial arts, things of that nature. We, we try to keep the limited side profile so that we're less likely to get hit with anything that's incoming. With, a, with one of these plate carriers on, now what I'm doing is squaring myself up and making myself a bigger target. Is that a good idea? Possibly, we're gonna get more into that. We're gonna talk about who that's a good idea for. But so, yes, it protects against vital organs, but only from certain angles, all right? That's important to remember. So if you are gonna be using a plate carrier, you need to train with the plate carrier, get used to the plate carrier, and then change the way you train to the plate carrier. All right, so much involved there. Or what I recommend most people is get a tiny little plate carrier like this. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe it'll help you. All right, maybe if you, you'll get shot in the plate carrier, if you get shot at all. And then the advantage is just gonna be 
having that easy access to your gear, that real estate for gear. <clears throat> the vital organ protection is dependent, dependent on the angle and your fighting style. And it raises your chance of survival if, big if, if you're on military operations and you have a trained medic with you, okay? If you're a civilian and you have a plate carrier on and you get shot in the arm and, it's a, and you're in a really bad situation, you're probably still gonna die because you don't have a medic there with you. You don't have the medical gear. The difference for military guys, why do military units wear this? Because there's a medic there. He has his medical gear and he's trained so he can give that first, res first aid response to those guys that get shot in the arm, in the neck, in the leg, okay? You, they can get that medical treatment and then it'll keep them alive until they can get to a hospital. You're not traveling with that medic, then it's much less important to you. It's much less of a advantage to you to have a plate carrier. So I really don't recommend, I don't, civilians don't need a plate carrier. It's not on your top list of items to buy for the bug out, okay? Your bug out items. Your top bug out items are, I have articles that are incredibly in depth. I have videos here on the channel on bug out items, on survival gear, on things. If you're gonna be buying stuff because you're worried about the end of the world, all this stuff, a plate carrier is nowhere near the top of the list, all right? If you want one because it's cool, if you want one for airsoft, something like that, Okay, here we go, LA, LA police gear. Uh, my other one here is from Snake Eater Tactical. They're very expensive, but they're handmade and it's the complete other end of the spectrum. The plates, okay, you've gotta find your own connection on, on top of the line plates because top of the line plates, the stuff that elite operators are using are always gonna be hard to get. These plates from LA police gear, that particularly this, you can order right to your house. This is pretty crazy. This, this uh, level four plate from LA police gear is pretty awesome as far as just anybody civilian being able to order it. So that is cool. Let's talk about the disadvantages, all right, of a plate carrier really quickly. It's like we said, limited, limited protection of vital organs and limited protection overall. You gotta get that out of your mind that it's gonna raise your chances of survival, that it's gonna keep you from getting hurt, keep you from getting shot, anything like that. It's just not gonna happen. In fact, and this is something no one else is talking about, and maybe because nobody else knows that, nobody else has had that level of experience of knowing what it's like to wear a plate carrier behind enemy lines, so to speak, without that military unit, without that medic traveling with you that's got your back. It's wearing a plate carrier can actually raise your chances of conflict. Okay, so I'm here, I'm here in, in very dangerous areas working often in very dangerous areas and have in the past worked in very dangerous areas. And having a plate carrier on versus not having a plate carrier on, if it's a big plate carrier like this, <clears throat> it's going to greatly increase, if I'm wearing a plate carrier like this, my chances of conflict. Because I'm going to look like I'm looking for trouble. I'm gonna look like a uh, DEA agent, look like a cop, look like military, look like somebody who is looking for a fight and then the other guy who's looking for a fight or who's on the scan for an enemy can identify me like that. So you completely lose the element of surprise, you lose the ability of concealment, you lose the ability to be the gray man. If you, if you don't know what real gray man theory is, again, I'm the only guy that's on YouTube that's talking about the real gray man theory. All right, because there's tons of misconceptions out there of trying to blend in and all this stuff. It's not what it is. I've got an entire playlist on gray man theory, so check that out if you don't know what gray man theory is. Most people don't, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with not knowing what gray man is. But with a plate carrier on like this, you lose the ability to gray man. So consider that with your, with when you're considering a plate carrier as an option. Mobility is so key to everything. Your ability to be a gray man, to, bl to not necessarily to blend, but to change to chameleon effect. Okay, a chameleon doesn't, does blend, but a chameleon has the ability to change, okay? And so that is something that is real with gray man theory is the ability to change is something that's very desirable. The ability to change from one look to another, what you are doing as a gray man is affecting the perceptions of others. You want this person that's looking at you, you want to put something in their mind so that they think of you a certain way, 
Okay, it's not about you blending and not being seen because you're always gonna be seen. It's about you being seen and the people that see you thinking what you want them to think. And you, you don't want them to think in a lot of cases that you are some sort of a military combatant unless you are with a military unit and you're going for the hard target, hard uh, looking like a military unit and there's very few cases and almost no case that a civilian would wanna do that. That's what you have here. The, so it raises your chance of conflict as a civilian, all right? You lose the element of surprise. It can lower your mobility and ability to move. It can make you more tired because if you've got this plate carrier on with all these plates, this is a variety of plates here that these are not the cheapest plates, okay? These are not the cheapest plates and they're not the most expensive plates. It's right in the middle and if you've got this full plate carrier on, loaded with gear. This weighs 17 pounds even, just these four plates. And then the plate carrier itself weighs 2.3 pounds. So we're looking at 20 pounds minimum. If you have anything connected to your plate carrier, <clears throat> you're looking at at least 20 pounds. My plate carrier, with all of my accessories on it, is less than 10 pounds, okay? With the pistol in there, it's probably because I'm carrying a Glock and magazines, I'm maybe 11, 12 pounds. And with this one, we're looking at 30 pounds, all right? With fully loaded out the way that a lot of guys are trying to carry it, 25 pounds minimum with magazines, pistol, all that stuff. So think about the fact that it really lowers your ability to move and mobility and then it raises how quickly you get tired and if you're not used to wearing 25 pounds of extra gear if you're not used to weighing 25 extra pounds it's gonna it's gonna be tough okay and you're gonna actually do more damage to yourself than good if you're not training like that uh, if you are gonna buy a plate carrier and you want a big plate carrier I, I am gonna say this one from LA Police Gear, it looks very tough. I'm gonna finish off with, with this final review of these, of these plate carriers here. It looks very tough. It looks like a Cordura fabric. I can tell you for sure it's durable. It's uh, laser cut. I can tell you that it's laser cut molly. I hate molly, I absolutely hate molly. The, the military is great at adopting terrible, terrible, terrible ideas and things. The, the Beretta M9, uh, one of the worst pistols ever ever made, okay, designed. It's a terrible design. The AR-15, it was originally built in 7.62. It was a great weapon, and then they changed it to the M16, uh, which is a terrible, terrible firearm, uh, a terrible weapon of war, easier to carry rounds, and then just made it easier for, but for the individual, it's not, it's not a good gun. Molly is just an absolutely terrible system. But people are, you know, sheep and, and in general, when you get large groups of people together, they make bad decisions and the military is the worst at that. This from Snake Eater Tactical, it didn't, it never caught on. I was one of the original guys to test this for them, but you can use these heavy duty UV protected steel insert zip ties and you can attach anything quickly and super easily to this plate carrier. And these holes in here, it's, I don't even know, I think Snake Eater or Tactical will have to make it for you custom now because it just didn't catch on. People are so ignorant that people comment on my videos, where'd you get that pegboard? And, and it's just, people just see what this, you know, uh, Navy SEAL tactical YouTuber is doing and then they, do, they wanna do the same thing even though it's probably the worst thing that you can do for you as a civilian. And, uh, and it's just, we're all just sheep and followers apparently, but you are here at Bone Tactical in one of the only places where you can get real current information that doesn't, that doesn't uh, just get regurgitated. I'm not regurgitating information that somebody else taught me, that somebody else taught them, that somebody else taught them, that they have no idea why. You actually get real new current information here. Even if it's the only place you can get it, you can still get it here. So <clears throat> all things to consider. The realest video on plate carriers on the internet is here. So comment below and, and let me know how much you love this video. Comment below and let me know as well. Please tell me, hey, I watched fill in the blanks video and it was terrible, yours is so good. Those are great comments to hear because uh, 
I'm sure that there's a lot of other people putting plate carrier videos out there that only apply to you know, 1% of military special operations because those are the only military guys that are allowed to choose their plate carrier, uh, which is 0.000001% of the population of the world. And nobody else needs a plate carrier and can choose their plate carrier. The rest of the military guys, you can't choose your plate carrier. It gets chosen for you. And yeah, it's great to have a plate carrier, you guys, but you have to wear what you're told to wear. So very few guys, definitely check out Snake Eater Tactical if you want some high-end nylon gear, belts, anything like that. If you want some affordable gear, check out LA Police Gear. I'm working with these guys now and we'll see how that goes. I'm recently, will definitely come in use with uh, this. I will personally use with my team guys for somebody who is a local uh, permanent site security guy because the site, the whole point of the site security guy is to look like he's security and he's protecting everybody knows he's there. So a plate carrier like this is amazing for that. Uh, it's black and it fits in. I don't wear this plate carrier very often because technically it's illegal since it's camouflage and, and it could get me into problems. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, I do wear it sometimes, but the real, real, real reason, and it depends what I'm doing. If I'm in actually in the jungle or in the woods, I will wear this. But I just really like this ability to, to use zip ties on this one, and it's more, it's more finite than Molly. So Molly's fine, but a, a final tip and trick for you guys is use zip ties. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, please comment and share so I can keep these coming. If you like the Tactical Brief series, I will continue these videos. If not, I'll just not make them anymore. If you guys don't want the, the best information out there about tactical stuff and how it applies to you, comment below and tell me. We don't wanna know this stuff. We wanna find out on our own. We wanna find out the hard way or we wanna die trying to, to learn it because hey, maybe you do. Thanks for watching, bone out.